If you're in the market for a new construction home in one of Frisco's premier communities, then you are going to love today's video. Here I am in the Lexington community, right in the heart of Frisco. Matter of fact, the amenity center just recently opened as well, complete with a fitness center, an outdoor patio with TVs and plenty of tables, as well as the really nice resort style pool, complete with splash pad. Well, the home that we're gonna be featuring today is by Toll Brothers. And Toll Brothers here in Lexington only have a few homes remaining. And this one here is one that you're going to absolutely love. It's nearly 5,000 square feet and has just recently had a $125,000 price reduction. It is a quick move in, which as you know, are some of my favorites as they offer the absolute best opportunities in today's market. So let's go take a look. The film that I'm going to be featuring today is the one you see directly behind me. This is the Todd Chateau plan. Now this home features five bedrooms, five and a half baths, also has a media room, an office, and a flex space in just a touch under 5,000 square feet of living space. It is absolutely beautiful, and it has recently had its price reduced $125,000. Now, at the time of this recording, the list price is $1,674,000. Let's go take a look inside. As you enter in through the all iron front door, the first thing that you're gonna notice is the expanse of space. Again, the home is nearly 5,000 square feet. And so right behind me, as you can see there, there are all glass siders going across the back of the house at the great room. And we're gonna get to that in just a minute. But here on the main floor of the home, you're gonna find that there's two bedrooms. There's the primary bedroom as well as a secondary bedroom. You're also gonna have the office and the media room. And everywhere on the first floor is done in a really beautiful light colored hardwood, which I'll show you in just a second. Now, immediately to the left of the front door, you do have the staircase that's going up and then you have the office. So you've got a double door entry into this office located on the front of the home, really nice and bright. And as you continue down this hallway, you are going to come to the media room. So it's not often that you'll see the media room on the first floor, but it is kind of a good idea to, when I think about it. And I'll tell you why in this particular home as we make our way upstairs. So it's pre-wired for everything that you're possibly going to need there. And then adjacent to the media room, you do have the half bath. You've got the vanity right there. And then as you continue down this way, that single door in front of us leads into the single car garage. It is a full three car garage. And then the wood floors extend into this second bedroom as well. So perfect for a guest room something along those lines, not a bad size. I mean, fairly average for a secondary bedroom. And then this bedroom, like all of the bedrooms in this house, does have its own ensuite bath. So this one has a full shower and the tile work goes all the way up to the ceiling. All the finishes in this home are absolutely beautiful, which is what you would expect from a Toll Brothers property. Without a doubt, the great room that I'm standing in now is the heart and soul of this home. You have an absolutely beautiful two-story fireplace. In fact, the great room itself is two stories tall. It is a 21 foot high ceiling. As I'd already mentioned, you do also have the full glass sliders across the back of the home, which lead to perfect indoor outdoor living. And then you've got an absolutely beautiful kitchen. You're gonna find that there is a really large island, plenty of space for five, maybe even six bar stools. You've got the waterfall countertops. You've got top of the line Jenner appliances, and it is absolutely beautiful. Now, as is common in many of the floor plans that we see today, this home doesn't have a formal dining room. Instead, it's just got the one eating area here directly off of the kitchen. But I must say, 
it's really large compared to many of them. You could easily fit a table in here that seats 10 quite comfortably. So there's a lot of space here, which almost negates the need for that formal dining room, at least in my opinion. I know some people really like it. It's not a room that I ever used often. So I think having this larger space here right off the kitchen, as you've got this absolutely beautiful great room, you can also expand out and open up those sliders to take in, have another table on that patio if you needed to do that for a large gathering as well. One of the comments I often get from potential buyers is how high the microwaves are off the ground. Well, Toll Brothers solved that problem by putting the microwave in the base cabinet. So it does make easy access, but at the same point in time, one of the reasons that they put that microwave up higher is to prevent kids from having easy access to it. So that's just something to keep in mind. Now from here, we will make our way through to the master bedroom. Before we get into the master, you do have the laundry room right here. It is a really nice size laundry room, as you can see. So you've got the sink right under the window. You've got plenty of base cabinets. You've got the upper cabinets right here, and then your washer dryer hookups. Now, as you can see, the wood floors do extend all the way through here into the primary bedroom. So you've got the coffered ceiling up here with the ceiling fan. And then this is a nice size room. So you've got the black window frames here and you've got, it's just a good size. King size bed, all your furniture, absolutely no problem whatsoever. And then I really like what they've done with this primary bath. So as you enter in, as you can see, you've got the standalone soaking tub all the way there at the end. And then you just got this really large bank of cabinets all the way down and the three individual mirrors trimmed out in the same color as the cabinets, which is really nice. And then you've got this really nice large shower that also has a rainfall shower head. Then you've got a linen closet over here. I must admit, I'm not exactly sure why they put a glass door on the linen closet. They did the same on the pantry. So I guess if you have things, really nice towels or food you wanna show off, you're gonna be all set. And then adjacent here, you do have the closet. So it's all built out. You've got your shelving. And you've got this built-in racks here, again, for sweaters, shoes, bags, whatever you might need. But a good size closet overall. And one, to be honest with you, that's wide enough that you could even put a center console in the center of the, uh, the closet here if you'd like. And we'll make our way outside. So making our way outside here, you do have this really nice covered patio, especially if those all, that wall of sliders was opened up, this would make an absolutely beautiful outdoor space. The backyard itself is not huge. You could put a pool or a gazebo or an extended patio out here without any trouble whatsoever. As you can see, there is a house directly behind you, but overall, depending upon what your requirements are, it's not a bad size. It's, it's not too big, it's not too small. Now, before I make my way upstairs, what are your thoughts on this home overall so far? What do you think of the ground floor plan, the way it's laid out? You love it, you hate it, you wish this was different or that was different? Let me know in the comments below as I'd really appreciate that feedback and get to know what it is that you think about this Toll Brothers home. Now, as mentioned right at the beginning, as of this recording, the list price on this home was right around 1.674 million, but that pricing is subject to change. So in the description below, I do have a link to the property description page. If you follow that link or scan the QR code on your screen, you will be taken directly to that page where you can get all of the latest details and the latest pricing about this home. To admit i really do like the layout of the upstairs in this home it's a little bit different than what you traditionally see so directly opposite me here you are going to have the three additional bedrooms which i'll show you in just one minute and then behind me as you can see this is the bonus room or the game room if you like and directly adjacent to the bonus room here 
you've got this area, which is almost like workstations. You've got two desks that are built in and behind those desks, you have what is known as a flex room. So in many homes, that would just be your standard media room, but here it's a flex room. It is pre-wired for TV, mounts up on the wall, so it could almost be a second family room for the kids, you know, a teenage hangout area. And then I really, again, I like the way they've got these desks in here for homework or anything else that needs to be done as well. our way across the landing as mentioned that's where you're going to find the three secondary bedrooms so first off up here you've got a room here across the back of the house nice size bedroom here overall and then this one too also has well all the bedrooms have their own bath so you do have the vanity just like in the master downstairs the mirror is trimmed out in the same color and wood as the cabinets You've got the closet here across the back, decent size. And then you do have a tub shower combo here in this bath. As we make our way through to the other bedrooms, well, before we get there, you've got this storage area right here. There's no shelving, which could easily be added, but this does house all of your high-speed wiring connections, security system, things like that in the home. And so we make our way down this hallway. Over here, you're going to have another secondary bedroom, also a very good size for the secondary bedroom. You've got the closet right over here. And then like the other ones, again, you also have a full bath. So again, finished out exactly the same and also with the tub shower combo. And then on the front of the home, you have the last bedroom. Again, probably the smallest of the secondary bedrooms, but still a pretty good size overall. Closet here off to the right. And then again, it does have its own bath. So no fighting over who gets to take a shower. Everyone's got their own. So again, tub shower combo and finished out the same as all of the others. So what did you think overall? Now, I, I have to say, personally, I really did like this floor plan. I like the layout. I like what they've done upstairs, as I mentioned, with that flex room and that extra area with the two desks in it. I just thought it was a nice touch. And as typical, as you walk through, yes, you may have noticed there's some blue tape on the walls or green tape. This is in the final stages of being ready. It is move in ready, you know, could be moved into within 30 days. They're just doing minor repairs and touch up work right now. But the home is a traditional Toll Brothers home. It's just quality throughout. The attention to detail that you would expect for a home in this price range is there. But again, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I would appreciate your thoughts on this home. And if you have questions or want additional information about this home, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can always call or text the number on your screen or go ahead and use the QR code to have be linked directly to my calendar and set up a free consultation. Let's talk through what it is that you're hoping to find or achieve. And I would be more than happy to help you out with that.